Why do we need a leap year? The Gregorian calendar, named after Pope Gregory XIII, came into being in 1582 and now serves as a standard calendar for civil use throughout the world. It has both common years and leap years. A common year has 365 days and a leap year 366 days, with the extra or intercalary day designated as February 29th. A leap year occurs every four years to help synchronize the calendar year with the solar year, or the length of time it takes the Earth to complete its orbit about the Sun, which is about 365 and a quarter days. The length of the solar year, however, is slightly less than 365 and a quarter days, by about 11 minutes. To compensate for this discrepancy, the leap year is omitted three times every 400 years. In other words, a century year cannot be a leap year unless it is divisible by 400. Thus, 1700, 1800, and 1900 were not leap years, but 1600, 2000, and 2400 are leap years. So what are the chances of being born on leap day? Well, it's about 1 in 1500. If you're born on a leap day, February 29th, when do you celebrate your birthday? Well, people generally tend to celebrate their birthday on March 1st because technically on February 28th, they are not a year older yet. From a legal perspective, most provinces and states use March 1st as a date one becomes eligible to get a driver's license, etc. How many people were born on leap day? Currently, there are about 4 million people in the world who were born on February 29th.